Hello, family and friends. This morning, we're going to go through the drill of uh, mounting, connecting the uh, PMP Bluetooth software to the bike's internal Bluetooth signal generator. It's called the Aprilia PMP. Not exactly why. We'll have to research that. But obviously, we have to do a couple of things before we get started. Now, I've already paired this device to my smartphone, which in my case is an iPhone 7 Plus. It's relatively straightforward to do. You just uh, insert the unit and it will tell you that's there. You know the unit is in. Let's put the key in here and turn it to the on position. We'll hear it prime the fuel injector pumps. And you'll know the unit is installed when this little red uh, icon here, and I, I'm going to try and lean in a little closer to get it, uh, illuminates. And that's a uh, icon of a smartphone with a Bluetooth kind of wave coming out of it, and a little check mark. That says, yep, uh, you do have the PMP unit installed. Now, I've put on my machine a uh, smartphone mount by a company called SP Gadgets. It's a Moto Mount Pro, and I have to say, I think it's a pretty handy little gizmo. Uh, for one thing, you don't have a lot of room on the uh, Tuono handlebars, and this gives you plenty of room to install it. You just put it on, lock it into position thusly, and... Uh, Voila, you're there. You've, you've got it. The uh, nice thing about it, if uh, and I do hope this comes out, the nice thing about it is that uh, it puts the phone and my um, TFT display panel in visual synchronicity, if you will. I'm going to use a big word, synchronicity. Puts them in, in line visually so that I don't have to bring my vision way back here as uh, some units are mounted, but I can look right down and see them both. Not that I advocate, by the way, uh, not at all that I advocate in any way that you take your eyes off the road for more than just brief periods of time, particularly when you're riding a sports motorcycle such as the uh, Tuono. Okay, so obviously we have to turn on our phones and uh, go through that little... Um, security process to say, yeah, I really own this phone. I'm the guy. I'm the dude. And we're going to look for the V4 app icon. Hoping this comes out. It'll be down there. You'll see it. V4. Push that. Aprilia hops up. Nicely rendered. Oh, I just remembered. I have to go back. Sorry, folks. Got to go back. And I've got to go to settings. Go to Bluetooth, look for BT Router, BT Router. I'm going to bet BT stands for Bluetooth, but uh, BT Router, it shows I'm connected. Again, I'm just hoping this comes out on the screen for you, but it does, it does show that I'm connected. So I can go back now to the V4. Oops, just went past it. Just touch on that. Legals only use on roads and apps and tracks close to public traffic. Yes, of course, we agree to everything. And there we have our menu. And you'll notice there are uh, nine icons across the top here, including settings, instructions, the bike manual, which is kind of handy, legal notices, which you can send to your attorney for a couple $300 an hour. They can uh, peruse for you. Options, Trip Computer, Map, which is kind of handy, Track, and Dashboard. Now, we're not going to go through all nine of these this morning. I want this to be a brief uh, enough video that lots of people are going to see it. Now, another thing to notice that once I connected that software, not only is my little phone icon illuminated here, but the V4 is illuminated as well. well. And that tells me, that tells me now that my motorcycle is talking to my phone. 
So let's go direct to dashboard. Bingo, there we have it. And it's live. We are, we are looking live right now. Let's see if I can get it to a zero lean angle. A little tough to do. But you notice that the first thing, that first option that comes up on the menu, and all these are configurable, is lean angle. And you'll watch, it, it's live, it changes as we go back and forth. And I get it here, and I get it here. 34 miles per hour, I don't know how it's figuring that. Maybe it's the, uh, that's the average speed. Maybe it's figuring that's how much the Earth's rotation is right under my uh, seat here. I'm not too sure how it's calculating. I'm doing uh, an average speed of 34 miles per hour. Probably, I see it's coming down. It's probably based upon my last trip. And current speed. You can change these out. Uh, the uh, slip angle, acceleration in Gs. RPM times a thousand and gear. I'm in neutral at the moment and uh, throttle percentage. This one's kind of cool. Watch. We'll just play with the throttle a bit. 34%. Hang on, dude. You're going places. Let go of the throttle. We're down to 0%. So all of these are configurable, each one of them, uh, as you go through the submenu. Uh, I've not got a lot of experience with this, so it would be difficult for me to make a recommendation one way or the other to using them. But you are live tracking what the bike is doing at this second, plus, plus it's also accumulating the data in a file. So to go back to the main menu, we're supposed to be able to push the, uh, just take our two fingers and put it there. And uh, we can go back and look over settings, as I said, instructions, track, map, that sort of thing. Let's go to map here. And it shows I'm at Wistful Vistas in Trotalazanha and uh, just raring to go. Let me go. Let my people go. You notice there's some options on the side here. And I can hit the gas station option and it shows me uh, within just a little bit where the closest gas stations are. Arco 76, um, Shell, and if we go to the top of the menu, it should be the closest one. It shows that I've got a mobile 1.8 miles away. So that's a handy little thing, especially with a bike as thirsty as this, because you do run through the gasoline, particularly if you have a strong right hand and uh, you're watching that throttle map go back and forth, back and forth. So if you happen to be in unfamiliar territory and you want to uh, know how to react when your uh, fuel light goes on, come on, Aprilia, $18,000 motorcycle and no gas gauge. Come on, guys. But there is no gas gauge, so when you get the fuel light on, which I think says you've got about a gallon left, you can go to that option and that'll tell you uh, where the nearest source of some more dino juice is so you can continue with your trip. So we'll drop out of that. You can set uh, where you want to go with this uh, by adding uh, various things. And we can pop back out to the menu on that one. This is kind of fun because this is track. And it's fun to imagine, yeah, I'm in Austin. I'm in the USA. I'm an American. Uh, I'm in the USA and I want to set my track map up for Austin because I'm going to be racing, uh, you know, I'm going to be racing uh, the boys in MotoGP and I want to give them a fair chance, but I do want my own opportunity and I'm going to use that Austin trap map, track map, pardon me, not easy to say, track map to set up my machine. There are sub menus that you can go through and actually set this machine up to handle on a corner by corner basis. Come on. I mean, how good does it get? So we can go to the trip computer and it shows you my last uh, or the current trip distance traveled 27.8 miles maximum speed. I've gone 3.3 miles per hour. I don't know how it just must be my speed of elocution. That is how fast I talk. So I'm uh, not too sure how it got that. Average speed, 31.3, and I'm doing zero miles per gallon so that it's going to be an expensive trip. I can go in here and retrieve files from previous trips I've taken. 
Here's one I took, uh, actually shameful to say, but that last time I went was uh, around June, uh, well, actually early July, but I didn't log the trip. So we can take a look at the um, representations, the graphical representations of that trip. Average speed, 67.9 miles per hour. I'm currently at a 0.2 lean angle, and it gives you these over time which is a pretty cool thing to look at. Again, I have not really completely delved into all the details and the possibilities with this, but uh, you can review your trips on your smartphone and look at, uh, look at cool things and even uh, roll the graphics back and forth. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of fun to do. There are other uh, apps available, by the way, for motorcycle trips. One of them is a very nice one supplied by Pirelli, who supply the OEM tires for this machine. And uh, at a later stage, I'll go through those. So we can opt out of that and go back to, we're back to the files management, and we can go back there. And here we are at the current trip, and we'll go up to the main menu. Hello. There we are, back to the main menu. So we've gone through trip computer, we've gone through dashboard, track, map, trip computer, options, uh, again, not being all that familiar with some of the details, and I've just generally used it as kind of a passive logging device while I've driven along. But it does, it will give you options such as touch screen while driving is off, you don't want to be playing with that. Find my bike is on, if you park your bike, and then want to come back later on and find out where it is, that's a handy thing to have. Data logging is off. I can turn that on. Yes, I can. Uh, turn it on. Lean threshold at 10 degrees. You don't want to know much more uh, uh, lean than that. GG diagram reset. Not too sure exactly what that means, but we'll, we'll look at that and find out about it. Units in speed, miles per hour versus kilometers per hour for you European metric people versus us old school miles per hour type people. Consumption, miles per gallon versus uh, liters per fortnight or however you put it. And temperature in Fahrenheit as opposed to centigrade. Uh, too old to teach this dog new tricks right there. So I got to stay with old school stuff. So we can go back up to the main menu. And we have gone through our options. Settings, Bluetooth settings, which we don't really want to back out to go to that. So we're going to go back into the V4 and say OK. And uh, hint, when the application was closed, option data recording was turned on. Do you want to continue the data recording? Sure we do. We're bikers. We want to keep that going on. Instructions, a whole instruction on how to use this. Bike manual, legal notices, like I said. And I expect all of you to be uh, spending great time on those legal notices. So I'm going to try and zoom in, zoom in and give you a good view of all that. And I hope this did come out uh, while we're talking about it. It's a really handy uh, way to log your trips. Again, I'm going to say I do not recommend that you pay too much attention to that while you're on the move, unless perhaps you're in a controlled setting like on a track. But it will uh, record all the data as you're actively going along and then put it into a file. want to mention quickly before we end here, we're coming down to an end. Let's see if I can hold that zero lean angle. Let's go back to dashboard and watch that while I'm talking. Um, and it's just a perfect match to what the motorcycle says versus what the uh, uh, PMP app is saying. But I just want to mention quickly that it does store files. I've tried to download those files, and they're in some kind of a, looks to be an ASCII delimited file that you'd need to pour into a spreadsheet and then do a little manipulation to get much out of. So I'm not too sure how you manipulate and view those files. I'll have to learn about that and report back later. But this is going to bring us to the end here. That is our look at the PMP unit, what it does, how you turn it on, how you start it. Look for that BT router. We guessed that was Bluetooth. BT router in your Bluetooth system hookups. Penultimate 
mention is battery life while using this does affect your phone's battery life. So be aware that you will use quite a bit of battery juice while you're operating and running with this. Now, the 7 Plus has a much improved battery life over previous generations of the iPhone, but there is a limit. There is a limit as to how long you can keep it up and operating. So if you are going to be doing this for multiple hours in a day, I might suggest that you carry a portable battery charger or know of a place that you can stop and put your uh, uh, phone up for a quick recharge to keep going because it, it is kind of juice intensive. So uh, keep that in mind. Ride safely and uh, hope you enjoy this view at uh, really what I consider the future of motorcycling and uh, uh, cardam. Uh, cars in, in the future. That is much more interconnectivity between our smart devices like our phones and our uh, machines. So enjoy it. Again, as I say, ride safe and let's see how this all turned out.